Krampus is on the hunt. We got the DP. Everybody likes the DP. I jumped through them off just enough. I'm land right on the top of this, so it's hard for them to get any of that. There it is. Right, there we go. I had no effect on the game. Maybe I will. Maybe at some point, somebody will be very attempted to get the DP at the top of that tower, but I highly doubt it. All right, what's going on, guys? It's Jed. I want to thank everybody that ended up subscribing yesterday. I'm, uh, I'm good. I just... There, there's passion, you know what I mean? Aiming right at him. Toasty Eagle. I mean, that guy was free. Literally had no armor or anything. So this guy landed where? What would this location even be called? I mean, I would say this is outer arsenal, but this tree tier one. Oh yeah, so they, they did come up with the update last night. Right, right, right. So the Warzone update ended up coming out last night. There were some balance changes. We still don't necessarily know exactly what the best guns are in the game. Obviously, the Cooper Carbine is really good. The Automaton caught a nerf. There's a uh, UFC event tomorrow, and everybody's talking about Spider-Man and shit like that, and screaming at each other, and claiming they'll do all sorts of crazy shit if anyone spoils it for them and all this other shit here's the thing how would you even know you got spoiled by just reading something i guarantee you there are some people that are nervously they haven't seen the movie yet right now just nervously ready to exit right out of this video just because i even mentioned it you gotta work on that people that spoil shit are assholes trust me but like you know bring it back a little bit yeah they ran over to the tree there's a bunch of presents under there but the only gift is death so I don't know how worth it that really is. Since this is brand new though, yeah, I mean, I'd say that these uh, tree areas are actually really, really good spots for uh, like just activity in general, especially if they're spawning nearby. And if they can have any of those trees actually spawn like peak and stuff like that, I mean, how many trees spawn on the map? One, two, three, four, five, six. Do any more of them spawn or is it just like six that spawn on the map or, or is it just always six? Well, this one's tier three. Tier two, tier one. Maybe when it says tier one, that means that they took the presents. I just watched it literally downgrade itself, so. Went from tier three, three stars, and then fell down to one. Ended up marking this vehicle over here. I guess he wants to actually move around. Oh yeah, and also this is not strictly just Vanguard solos anymore. It's uh, just straight out full, but he's right there. I mean, he had a UAV too. Okay, there it is. Got three kills. I mean, for how this map flows and how these lobbies die so quickly, uh, you know, I don't really know how much faster or slower people are dying on the regular BR mode as opposed to Vanguard BR, though. But it always felt like on Vanguard BR, by the time you get to, like, people just die so fast. Got a UFC tomorrow. Derek Lewis versus Chris Dawkins. Everybody knows who Derek is. Just my, my balls is hot. Versus Chris Dawkins, he's like a... I mean, the dude's from Philly and shit, and he's actually pretty good. Got, like, good boxing and shit like that. Got a good amount of speed for a head heavyweight but i just feel like if Derek hits him just right just like with anybody yeah they're they're probably gonna go to sleep i mean Dawkins absolutely can show if he's like really really talented because the way that cyril gone ended up beating uh Derek lewis he ended up picking up a part from the outside and he was able to stay really safe because cyril has this like great big tall long build oh yeah and the vehicles aren't dog shit in this mode so it makes the map a lot better chris Dawkins can actually just like stand from the outside and still manage to pick him apart with boxing against Derek lewis without getting slept i will be very impressed i don't think it's that great of a matchup for Dawkins. i know that technically Dawkins should be the better faster boxer and everything but i don't see him being able to put Derek away i'll be very surprised if he does he pulls up to the tree it looks like did that guy just explode in the presence? Dude's too busy looking at the presence and seeing what Santa brought him. Instead, he just gets killed. Wonder Boy's back against Bilal Muhammad. This is a good matchup because I don't think Bilal's a very good matchup for Steven. Bilal will wrestle and he'll get like, he, he doesn't give a fuck. Bilal will get ugly, dirty with it. I want Wonder Boy to win that fight, but I don't dislike Bilal or his style or anything like that, but... If I'm looking at it, I mean, I feel like Wonder Boy, he's Wonder Boy. He's very, very hard to figure out. Somebody's on the loadout drop, ends up throwing the flash grenade, flash the shit at him, and throws the Semtex. Breaks the armor with the Thompson. I mean, hey, respect for the Thompson usage. Boom, picks his loadout. Cooper Carbine with the Katana. Cold-blooded Ghost. No, I just don't feel like you need Ghost. I feel like High Alert is really, really good on this map in particular, just because there's not nearly as many um buildings all the time there are just so many random points in time where you can ha get third party from so many different angles on the map because so many fights are happening in fields and stuff that high alert works really well that's why i run around a lot with a uh, high alert and cold-blooded at the same time because if people start using it more we'll see how it goes i mean anything to combat ghost usage it is so op it's i i really do wish it was like vanguard ghost where you can't just sit inside of a building and be okay pulls the bertha up this guy's just sitting in a bush somewhere he's literally just laying there oh my god and he just sends it off of the thing he drifter i mean this guy literally just was sightseeing or something maybe testing his fps or some shit some other good fights on here like uh a sun sal versus ricky simone mandalamos versus angela overkill hill uh-oh Oh, that's bad. 
All right, I bet these vehicles flip over really easily though on this landscape, right? As opposed to the Vanguard vehicles. Ooh, and if the next Call of Duty really is Modern Warfare 2, I feel like they're gonna lean into Modern Warfare style gameplay really hard. Quote tactical, but the reality of it is it's literally just like more about hiding and shit. Whereas like the gunfights, you just die insanely fast. I'm gonna pick Angela Hill, Steven Thompson, and Derek Lewis. I could probably be wrong about a lot of them. I mean, my fight picks and accuracy are not very good. <laughs> I don't feel like what I'm saying is wrong. It's just like, it's MMA. Anything can happen. It doesn't really matter. You you can say you can get like a. Uh oh. Open the door down there. He's checking around. Oh wait, he did a shit ton of damage with that. Wait, how did he get away? He's gonna lose his gunfight now because now he's chasing with no armor at all. You should have absolutely backed up as soon as you took that much damage and he got away. Bad push from Mighty Eagle right there. He should have been able to do the math in his head and realize that there's no way. If he didn't see the armor break or anything for him, that was just a big misplay by him. We get way more frames when we don't have Google Chrome open right. I turned off anti-aliasing and uh, I, I don't know. Having no anti-aliasing on with all this foliage, I, I can't tell which one is more visibly damaging. Do you ever just like looking up into the tree lines and shit and all like the shimmering edges and all that shit that are moving all over the place all the time? I feel like my eyesight is actively getting worse while I look at it. Like it's got a three line with an MP40. I mean, there's literally only 22 left somehow. I How did this lobby die so fast? He's gonna pick the three line back up. It's floor loot. You wanna say Took the shot. I mean, worth it. Whatever. See if that guy turns around. What the fuck? Krampus is here! Oh shit, run for your life! Run! Ah! Dude, pop, pop your stim, pop your stim! Stim, 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 stim! Wait, he plays zombies. Oh, stim, stim! Why did it come after him in particular? Wait, he teleports? Oh, this would scare the shit out of me. This okay, uh, this is actually kind of cool. I ain't even gonna lie. Apparently Krampus, yeah. Okay, so he was crashing games last night. I wasn't playing, so I, I had no idea. Lighten him up. Disappearing again. Ports behind him. Runs back over. Sprinting at him. I mean, the AI... Oh, he killed him. And now there's probably somebody over here that heard all of that fighting. Right? What does Krampus sound like at a distance? I mean, you did use a lot of ammo on that shit. Honestly, super cheesy. Probably would be insanely frustrating if you were actually on a heater and then Krampus, you get a Krampus spawn and it just ruins everything. Like, who's gonna give a fuck that you got a Krampus kill in the middle of your gameplay as well, right? See what he dropped. He dropped a shit ton of cash. About like, what, eight, eight grand or something like that? UAV, precision airstrike, and another UAV. It's really surprising this guy hasn't gotten shot by somebody with ghost somewhere guy has auto attack sprint on i mean i don't blame him i guess he doesn't want carpal tunnel like me i don't have it but i, I feel like it's only a matter of time auto attack sprint i feel like it's a lot more clumsy i feel like i don't have nearly as much control over my character anymore i also like clicking the stick like i don't mind clicking it it's automatic for me pops the stim the stim gives you a nice little speed boost for a little bit it he lost the speed boost. Guy throws out another stun grenade. Ends up hitting him with it. Reed Charles doesn't matter. Aim assist. Got rotational. He should have known better. If you stun somebody, don't jump in front of them. Stuns are not flashes. Flashes, you can challenge them from anywhere. When you stun people, they can see. Oh, that's where the guy was. Ooh, he took a lot of damage. He really challenged that arm. Ooh, okay. Good reposition. Hit him at an angle that he didn't expect. Armor up. Uh, yeah, he knows he got broke. Well, he would definitely hear him close that door, so he knows that he's just in here recovering, so he still has him pinned. He's gonna have to re-peek. Here's the issue. Okay, yeah, he heard the door close. That's smart, though. You walk out the other door. Well, you just gave it away now. Now it shows that. Now he knows you're going through there because he heard the door. How did you have the cognitive ability to realize that you could go out the already open door, but then not challenge it properly, and then... Okay. Whatever. I, I feel like the player is just smarter than that. You know what I mean? He made the smarter play right before that and then missed it. Losing the people like that to have you pinned is literally the worst feeling ever. It, it just sucks. Well, he has four kills. Man, I, I wonder what the average player's PR is. I mean, he's only got four kills, but might only have about four more seconds to live. Calls in the airstrike to just prevent the guy from pressing him and just jumps off the mountain. Okay. Oh, but he flies in behind him, just chasing him super hard, pressing him. Just no mercy. Darius. Oh, is that what Krampus sounds like? Okay, it seems like Krampus spawned away now. I wonder if he shows up on the heartbeat sensor. Yeah, that is the one big downside to this. The heartbeat, oh my God, wait, the heartbeat sensor has a big delay on it now, good. Hit it harder, do it again. Give it a battery with the nerf. Oh, spots him. 
breaks him. He did not expect that. He was in the middle of a separate fight. And now he didn't even get to finish that kill off, though. So that guy's... I mean, that's going to be really unlucky. If he's left alive until the very end, he's going to get aggro on one of the players. Unless they both avoid him like the fucking plague. He had the balls to go and chase that dude off of the edge of that cliff onto the beach. And he thinks somebody's behind him as well. I mean, I'm really surprised that that guy didn't know where he was. I mean, top three. I mean, I don't know where Krampus is. Unless he's fighting him. I feel like you would hear him by now. Yeah, no. Krampus despawns after a certain point. If he's in the final end circle, uh, oh god. How many times does he spawn? Does he only spawn and attack one person at a time? Or how often is this? The guy's right in front of him. Oh man, the initial recoil control. But it ends up taking him down anyway. I'm gonna toss a grenade. It might be good. Nope, too short. At the PPSH. Rez, but has nothing. Has to fight immediately. There's nothing he can do. Has no time to play so, last guy definitely heard that. No sound of Krampus or anything, so that's good. Somebody to his left. Walking up. Getting stunned. He's pressing around the other side now. Alright, there it is. Okay. You gotta work on that stick drift. Maybe your initial accuracy would be a little bit better. Eliminate that stick drift a little bit, too. I mean, not bad. Some pretty intelligent plays, not very high kills, but not the dumbest plays ever. Yo, GG. Hey, GG's. Good game. That feels good. A simple GG. Yeah, that's what I like. Oh, playlist update. What's happening? And I have no idea what changed. Nice.